So, in addition to Romney's whiteboard <laughs> Medicare antics, he's also out with a new attack line on the president that he's been reiterating. Let's take a listen. His campaign and his surrogates have made wild and reckless accusations that disgrace the office of the presidency. This is what an angry and desperate presidency looks like. Mr. President, take your campaign of division and anger and hate back to Chicago. Woo! Take it back to Chicago, that anger and hate. Um, so when I listen to that, to me the words seem sort of loaded, but I wanted to get you all's thoughts. Tori, what did you think about that? Yeah, clip? I mean, that really bothered me. You notice he says anger twice. He's really trying to uh, use racial coding and, ac and access some, some really deep stereotypes about the angry black man. Um, this is part of the playbook against Obama, the otherization, he's not like us. I know it's a heavy thing to say, I don't say it lightly, but this is niggerization. You are not one of us. And then you are like the scary black man who we've been trained to fear. And the idea of, of locating anger around Barack Obama just doesn't fit with who he is and who he has trained himself to be going back to high school, training himself to be no drama Obama. So, so who are they talking to then here? Well, but they're talking to people who are trained to hate him, who want to hate him. <laughs> it's a base turnout election, so this is how we can rev up the base to, to work against Let him. Let me get this straight, just so I have this straight. In addition to calling Mitt Romney something of a racist and the whole of the base as racist, Joe Biden makes a racially charged comment, which you and many others on the left called divisive. Mitt Romney comes out, calls that comment divisive, but because he used the word angry, now his is the racially charged comment. Do you see how dishonest that is? Well, you know, I didn't call anybody racist, right, because I don't want to deal with that. It's a bit oh, too much. Oh, certainly but I'm you saying were that he's working that with Mitt Romney the and the base will respond to this dog whistle, race, racially charged coding well, and hate Obama, the angry black well, man? I mean, the GOP has been working with- That is with, so irresponsible, Trey. The GOP has been working with racial codes going back to Reagan and perhaps before. I mean, going back to Nixon with the war on drugs, Reagan with the welfare queens, uh, the first Bush with the uh, Willie Horton. I mean, this is typical Lee Atwater politics, Karl Rove politics. This is typical Republican Again, so then playbook. the whole of the party, the whole of the party uses he's this not racial coding. I mean, he's oh, he not, just did. He's not saying well, that, I mean, but he is this calling is, out this this is, but instance. this is not a revolutionary comment. This is a constituency all-white party that rejects the black you vote. You have that two white guys in Joe Biden and Mitt Romney. Joe Biden made the overtly racial comment and has a history of making bigoted remarks. Mitt Romney was responding to that comment, and yet he is the one responsible for the whole Republican history the, of racism no, in no, politics. That's not what Tory is saying. He, but he's using. His words. No, but he he's, can speak for no, himself. No, but he's using the playbook that Republicans have been using for decades now. And I, I was just in waiting. You. Can it, no, no, this is not my view. This has been laid this out fact. by, I by many, yeah. many scholars. I, I would just suggest there is something a little broader going on here. I'll give the Republicans a little bit of the benefit of the doubt here.